I'm glad we get to be together today. My name is Erica Black and I am a health and wellness coach, um, yoga instructor, massage therapist of about 19 years. Um, and I do a lot of work with women and with professionals helping to, uh, whether it's fitness, weight loss, detox, mindset, um, stress levels, anxiety, all these kinds of things to be able to help find relief and create solutions that uh, work in your everyday life. So I'm excited to share with you this week. Today, we're going to be doing our chair yoga session. And so if you have a comfortable seat, uh, whether it's your office chair or whether you have like a folding chair, um, I actually uh, grabbed a stool today because I like to be able to have some movement and be able to swivel. And so you can access and see my body better with, um, with the video. And so uh, that's an option. Also, if you have a post-it note, Grab your post-it note and uh, maybe a pen or pencil in place nearby so you can just take a quick note at the beginning at the end. Uh, before we dig in here, I am going to invite you to um, uh, just rate how your body's feeling today. Jot down on your post-it note uh, from a one to 10, um, how you're feeling in your body, whether it's like, you can think like closed or open or tight or relaxed, or you can think of like a pain scale if you have pain going on, but just generally how you would describe or rate your body. If one is like feeling, um, you know, crummy and 10 is feeling really good, right? So whether you're like a two or a three and like you're feeling aches and pains and stuff, or whether you're, let's say a 10, you know, like <laughs> feeling good uh, and you rate yourself a 10 and you said, everything's awesome. I feel great. Um, and so go ahead and just take a minute to jot that down and then you can set it aside. Don't even worry about it. We'll come back to it at the very end. <clears throat> so find your seat. I'm going to offer two options um, for, uh, for your kind of being able to see what's going on. I'm going to be seated here for part of it in the stool or the chair. Um, and, you know, ideally I'd like for my legs to be so that my knees are 90 degree and my feet are on the ground. Um, so another variation for me is actually sitting here at the, uh, at the couch. And so there I'm a little bit more level where I have that 90 degree bend in my knees. So I'll go back and forth. You're welcome to adjust and shift what feels good in your body. Um, there's no right, wrong necessarily, um, but very much we wanna focus on what's working for you and how you can get the most effectiveness out of the postures in your body and access, access your body. So we're gonna start in our seat, uh, feet on the floor, just sitting up nice and tall through your spine. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. Take a few nice, slow, deep breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose or exhaling out through the mouth if it feels good for you. Just taking a nice deep breath in and exhaling it out. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice, one more time. Nice. Draw your hands together, gently rub your hands. Our hands are these conduits for energy. And so when you're cold, you warm together to create heat and friction. We're gonna do that right now. As we draw this energy, this heat, and kind of create some friction to jumpstart our body to get things moving and open, uh, we're gonna draw that energy into our heart and draw the hands to heart center. So just let the hands either rest here, kind of prayer hands at hands at heart center, or if you feel you'd rather take your hands and place them one on top of another, that's an option too at heart center. Whatever feels more authentic or genuine for you. Still sitting up nice and tall, and then just close your eyes for a moment. Take three nice slow breaths here in and out the nose. Nice. While you're here with your eyes closed, just taking a moment to set an intention. I like to think of an intention as kind of like planting a seed in a garden. And so with gardening, whatever you plant has a higher probability of coming up than just, uh, you know, a random occurrence of seeds and things falling and hoping that you have tomatoes growing in your garden after you just, you know, didn't actually put any tomato seeds in your garden. And so taking a moment to plant into your practice, into this next half an hour, into your mind, into your breath, your intention of what you desire. And so maybe it's feeling more open and flexible. Maybe it's less pain. Maybe it's more energy more confidence, more body awareness, body confidence, whatever it might be, just take a breath. Plant that seed for yourself into your mind, into your body, into the universe. 
Nice. And then we'll take our hands and we're going to draw our hands on our thighs just for a moment from seat here. And we're going to use our breath, moving with our breath. Yoga is one of the most beautiful things. Yoga means union. And so it really is the joining or the yoking of your breath and your movement, your awareness and your environment, um, lots of different ways to be able to connect. So we're gonna move with our breath today. And so trying to match our actions and our breathing and creating that awareness between our breath. At any point, any posture, you can always skip, just watch a pose if it doesn't feel good in your body. If you have pain, don't go into pain. Try to come back to this side of the, the ledge. Don't go jump off the ledge of pain, but come back and if you start feeling a sensation of discomfort, then maybe back off a little bit, take a few deep breaths, or even looking for a variation, which I will cue you for variations in several of the postures. So there's definitely options today. Be kind to yourself, enjoy yourself, breathe. Let this be the time and space where you can shut off the, ex, uh, the outside and all of the wandering thoughts and all the to-do lists, and you can really be present in your body for yourself today. So sitting up tall, one thing before you just keep moving forward, we have lots of chairs in our life. We have our recliner where we lay back. We have our office chair where we have some support and arm rails. There's all these different chairs. I encourage you to think about when you're seated, not being slouched, but using your abdominal muscles, squeezing your core and using your abdominal muscles to support the low back and the spine. And so it's really easy to see that when we're in our seat, if we're slumped and we're shouldered over, kind of think of that, or you you know, if we're lifting up, we're squeezing and pulling our core in, squeezing our abdominal floor, kind of the Kegel movement of pulling up and in through the pelvic floor and then engaging through the low belly. And it might not make a big movement, but you might just feel those muscles. And we're going to focus with our chair yoga, especially on our awareness with our muscles and inviting our muscles to be part of the conversation so that we're not just uh, hoping that muscles fire, but we're starting to actually connect and invite those muscles to squeeze up and in and to secure ourselves. This strong core is going to help support the back, support our posture so we don't have as much pain and, uh, and tightness in our body. And so even just in your seat, um, this is where we want to start focusing. I'm going to demo from here for a moment uh, that this would be, it's a higher seat, right? So this would be easier in my body to access a lot of postures than if my legs were at 90 and I was sitting on the couch. And you'll notice that as we move in some of the other postures. So playing with the seat height can also matter in your body in certain poses. So give yourself space if you wanna kind of be exploratory with that, that's an awesome option. All right, so your feet are on the ground, you're sitting nice and tall, your core is engaged, squeezing up and in, feeling that kind of internal strength. We're gonna inhale and draw our arms overhead. And then exhale, release them back down. You can come to the thighs or you can just release them down to your armrest, whatever feels comfortable there. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Nice. This time I'd like for you to use the thought or the words as we move on our inhale. Our words are going to be uh, light and open and ease. And so inhaling light, opening and ease. And our exhale, we're gonna release, relax and ground. And so just taking a few more repetitions, inhaling light and open and ease and exhaling, release, relax and ground. One more time. Open, light and ease, relax, release and ground. As we begin to continue in our postures and in our breath and in our awareness, we're going to ground and root down into the earth. We're going to open ourselves up from the soles and from our bottom of our root chakra, which is down at the bottom of the pelvic bowl around the perineum and, and those uh, pelvic floor muscles we've been talking about. And we're going to pull the energy all the way up. Imagine if you will, that your body or your spine is a tube, which your spinal column is. It's full of the nerves and all kinds of amazing things that help our body to operate. And so what we wanna do is we wanna take this beautiful energy that's coming down and coming up through this tube, this midline of our body, and we wanna create more opening and ease. And we're gonna do that through our breath and through our movements today, especially in the upper half today. Uh, so just thinking about that opening. Imagine if you will a hose that's kinked, you know how like it sprays out and you're like having a water fight and you just like bend it in half and you squeeze it. Now water's not coming out. The same thing happens in our body when we get all kinked and tight and we do these repetitive movements or we sit at an angle that's not very uh, aligned posturally. And so we want to try to focus on the opening of our conduit, the opening of our 
tube of our spinal column um, and just really creating this connectivity through our body. And so letting that open ease, light and flow happen for you today um, in your mind and with your breath are a beautiful place to start. Even if certain postures aren't accessible in your body or if you're still learning and we don't wanna force anything, we wanna be gentle and invite. Um, in my practice and in my classes, I offer people the opportunity to invite your body into the posture, to see how it works. And it's a conversation of what feels good in your body and what doesn't. So that opportunity is available in each posture. So just listening to your body and, and think about not forcing, you know, it's not like you're, you're in a deadline. It's really an invitation of exploring your body and breathing into it. So we are going to start today with <clears throat> taking our hands on our shoulders. Um, and actually, before we do that, we're going to start with our hands on our thighs. And we're just going to lift our shoulders up. Inhale. And then exhale, shoulders down. So the shrugging of the shoulders. So inhaling up. Exhaling down. Use the breath. Inhale. Exhale. And you feel that pinching up of the shoulders towards the ear. And then exhale, the softening down. Two more. Nice. From here, we're going to take our hands and we're going to place our fingertips on our shoulders. And if it's hard to touch them, you can always just kind of have them in space, but this is where we're aiming for. And then we're going to inhale to twist to the left and exhale to the right. So opening through the axis of the body, using our breath and then to the right. Inhale, exhale. Let's go three more. Inhale, and your head can follow. You don't have to stay looking forward. Last one. Nice. From here, keeping the fingertips on top of the shoulders, we're gonna inhale, draw the elbows up, and then exhale, take them down. Inhaling up, and exhaling down. Nice, three more. Last one, just lift up, reach up, exhale, gently release. Release the hands down to your thighs, take a deep breath. Beautiful. From here, we are going to uh, give our body an opportunity to open. So we're gonna take our arms and reach them up, reaching down through the seat and reaching up through the arms. And then take your left hand down either to the ground or to your hip. You can rest at your hip or onto um, your chair seat and then reach the right arm up, inhale. And then exhale, lean your body towards the left as you reach the arm up and over. This is a good place to be. If this feels good for you, you can stay here. If you want more, you can take your left hand, wrap it around the wrist, and then use it to pull a little bit deeper. So stretching through the side body, your eyes can either stay forward or you can look gently towards the arm that's in the air, the right side, stretching through the whole right rib cage. Try not to roll onto your left tush, but try to keep both cheeks on the seat. As you lift up, reach up and reach over. Take another nice, slow, deep breath. Nice, slowly bring the arms back up, reach up tall, and then switching sides. Either the right hand's gonna go to the ground or to the seat, or you can bring it to the hip. Left arm reaches up in the air, or you can reach up and take the right hand and wrap it around the left wrist. Inhaling, sit up tall, and then exhaling, coming down to the left side. Breathe. Looking up towards the left arm or continuing to look forward with your gaze. Two more breaths. Inhale and come right back to center. Reach up tall. Nice. Actually, we're going to take our hands and place our hands on our low back. Now, I'm going to show you. Your hands are going to be palms on your low back, kind of right above. Your fingertips point down, and you can stay right there. I'm going to do this seated in the stool just for the visuals. And so <clears throat> hands to low back. We're going to press our hands forward into our low back and down and then squeeze the pelvic floor up and in. So feel the strength through your midsection. Elbows go back and eyes are going to look up. Opening through the hips, the low back, the chest. We're getting a nice little support here into our back bend. So inhale, lift up and exhale, look back. Maybe letting your head be heavy, resting across the shoulder blades. If you want more, you squeeze your elbows back towards each other as you press your hands into your back. Letting the head be heavy, stretching the muscles and the skin to the front of the neck. Take a nice deep breath in the nose and out. Two more. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, slowly draw your head back level. Release your arms, resting them onto the thighs. If it feels comfortable for you, take a nice deep breath here. Our next pose we're gonna come into is a forward fold. So you can do this from your seat, just slowly lower and slide your hands down your knees, your thighs, maybe all the way down to the ground. If it feels good, you can keep your arms on your legs for support, or you can take your hands all the way down to the ground as you gently let your head be heavy and forward fold bend. So we're getting this really nice access to the low back here. We're getting this stretch and opening from our low back up through the lumbar spine as we find space here. Your knees are bent, your head is heavy. Allow your head to be heavy like a watermelon and just letting it hang down, letting that stretch happen. The hands can be on the ground for support or the legs. If you can't quite touch the ground, then go ahead and just draw the hands to the knees, see if that helps, take some pressure off you. If it's too much pressure, hands to the knees helps kind of gentle pressure with your hands onto your knees or thighs. And just take in a few deep breaths. If this feels like it's harder to do for you um, because your belly and your chest kind of feel like you're getting in the way, take your feet a little bit wider apart to create that accessibility of space to be able to just let your head be heavy. And then take three breaths in and out the nose. Now you slowly use your hands on your thighs to press down as you lift and round yourself back up. Take a deep breath. Sit up tall in your chair, hands to your thighs, or you can let them rest down at your side. What feels good for you? Take a breath. Nice. From here, we're going to stand up. Draw yourself to your feet as you stand tall. Your feet are going to be about hip width apart. You can spread your toes out if you have the room to. Now, I know I'm barefoot and I'm in kind of yoga clothes here. You may or may not be there. You might be at just in your work stuff. That's cool. I like to be here so you can see everything, so I can talk you through and show you where things go and so it's easier to see. Um, you could do this in sweatpants and a t-shirt. You could do this in you know, your work clothes, whatever works for you. I like the looser fitting stuff where I can move my body and not have a bunch of extra fabric. Uh, so here we're gonna take our standing posture, which we also call mountain pose. So we're gonna press down through the feet and pull up through the belly. So squeeze the pelvic floor, pull up through the core. We still have this engagement. If you wanna think about like a seat belt, you're putting your seat belt on and then you're pulling up your core, squeezing through the pelvic floor. Arms are gonna face forward, palms forward, arms relax down, and then just take a deep breath here. If you feel comfortable and safe in your body where you are, maybe close your eyes, challenge yourself to be present. Feeling the air come in and out through the nose. And then inhale, reach your arms up in the air. Reach up high. The hands are reaching up nice and high. Palms are facing one another. Your legs are still strong. You're squeezing the glutes gently, pulling the pelvic floor and the belly up and in, feeling strength through the midsection as you reach up and then gently draw your eyes up. Look up in between your hands. Imagine you're looking up into like, I don't know, a crystal ball or up into the heavens or into uh, unlimited opportunity. As you draw your attention, your eyes upward, take three nice slow breaths in and out the nose. Squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes, strong active in engagement of muscles. Nice, draw your attention back forward. Take a moment and line up your chair. Make sure you have a chair behind you. If you moved away from your chair, you want it to be right behind you. And if it's a rolly chair, this is somewhere that you wanna have a secure chair. So we're gonna use a secure chair. If it's roly poly, see if you can lock it. Otherwise we're gonna be right here. And we're gonna bend our knees forward and slowly start to sit back. Like we're gonna sit back into a chair. Squeeze your core, keep pulling up through the belly, squeezing up and in as you bend the knees and sit back slow. Slow, 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 slow. Once you sit down, draw your hands to your thighs. Breathe. This is our chair posture. The way that we were went from standing down to our seat is a chair posture in yoga. And so we have that engaged energy where we're sitting back, reaching back for the flat part of the seat. We're actually on the seat, but you can also engage and do this posture as uh, an ongoing practice instead of just letting yourself flop into the seat, flop into the chair, engage your muscles as you lower to sit and get that strength and that beautiful core stability and pelvic floor engagement, um, which is gonna carry over into all aspects of life. So having that health of the pelvic floor and abdominal 
uh, energy is going to stabilize spine. It's going to help with, uh, you know, flow, whether it's urinary flow or just blood flow and circulation in that area. So it's a great practice to focus on your chair as you're getting up and down out of a seat all day, potentially. So we're going to be here in our seat and our chair, and this is an awesome place to be. We're just going to take a few deep breaths here. I want you to do this active. This is not your lazy boy recliner. So squeeze your core, pull up through your pelvic floor. Just take a few nice slow deep breaths as you sit up tall. Nice. Keeping your feet on the ground, press down. We're going to make our way back to our stand, engage, and then lower back into our chair. And we're going to do this three times. And so you can turn up the intensity. The lower your seat is, the more your legs are 90, the more muscles it's going to take. If your hips were higher, like if you were seated on the stool, then it's not going to be quite as much of an engagement. So if this is hard or challenging, you're working on building these muscles and it's new for you, a higher seat elevated, maybe a pillow under your hips would make this a little bit easier to lift them up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach our arms up. Imagine you're holding something, reaching up like uh, the Lion King, Ay, caramba, you know, with the, the newborn. Nice, squeeze your core, press down through your feet and then slowly lift your hips up as you lean and rock forward, engage your core, press down and slowly make your way back up to your standing posture. Mountain pose, arms up in the air. Take a deep breath. Squeeze your core, squeeze the pelvic floor. Maybe even tuck the tailbone under just a little bit as you squeeze up and in. And then exhale, bend the knees slowly lowering down. Reach back to your seat, but don't sit in it quite yet. Nice, if it's too much pressure on the shoulders, your hands can always come to heart center. This is great. Otherwise, sit right here into your chair just for three and two, and then slowly make touchdown. Slow and steady, like a ninja. Not flopping down like a pancake. Breathe. Hands can be here, hands can be here. Take a deep breath. Still squeezing through the core and the pelvic floor, stable seat, no laying back in your recliner. Feel supported through the midsection. Breathe. I'm gonna take this next one from the stool just so you can see the difference. So from here, I'm a little more elevated. My hips are higher than my knees, so I'm not at a 90 degree, right? More like 45. From here, I'm gonna squeeze, reach my arms up. Press down through my soles, squeeze the core and the pelvic floor, and then begin to reach up and forward and lift up. See how that was a really easy transition? Come all the way up if you're from your seat, make your way to your standing. And then we're going to bend the knees, squeeze the core, and sit back, reach back, try to find the seat, and then slowly lower down onto it. So for me, this isn't a whole lot of work as this elevated posture, but it's a great place to start working on the form and to start lifting, engaging, and being intentional. So make your way back up to standing one more time. And then bend the knees and slowly lower down. Find your chair, release your hands to your thighs or to your heart center, what feels good for you, take a breath. Close your eyes. Feel the energy and circulation that's happening right now through your midsection, through your back, through your hips. Just that awareness of energy that's moving through the blood flow and circulation. And take three breaths. Nice. Opening the eyes. We're going to move into our uh, shoulder, deeper shoulder stretching. And so I like to call this the untrap because these are our trapezius muscles, our traps. And so we're gonna work on opening this area up on the top of the shoulders. A lot of times if we have our, our you know, especially for women, we have these over the shoulder, you know, <coughs> tension straps. Sometimes that can be a little bit much. And so this is a great way to open this energy. So we're gonna start by taking our left hand and you're gonna reach your left hand behind you. The right hand is gonna reach around and try to grab that hand. Now I'm gonna interlace my hands. I'm gonna show you, I'll turn around and show you. And so I have my hands behind me. The left hand's gonna reach back. You can either just reach over and then use your fingers to kind of pull it over, or you can take your hand and grab around the wrist, kind of like we did earlier with our half moon, our side bend opening. Or you can interlace the hands and kind of trap them onto the hip. What well, feels good for you. And then from here, you're in your seat, or if it feels better, you can always stand to do this. It's up to you. I'm gonna to come to the stool for demo. So from here, I'm sit sitting up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left elbow, press it down and take your right ear and take it towards your right shoulder. Breathe. So we have this opening as we're stretching through the body where our 
right ear is going towards our right shoulder. And then we're taking our left elbow and pressing it down and away from the left shoulder. So this descending energy down on the left is stretching and lengthening the entire left side of your neck from up at the base of the occiput and the head and all these muscles that attach here down the shoulder blades and uh, down the shoulder all the way to the shoulder cap and then down into the scapula and the triangle back there. So we're just gonna take another deep breath. Nice. One more time. Sometimes you'll get some opening, some snap, crackle, pops, some releasing of the tension there. When you're ready, lift your head back up. Nice. Inhale, the arms are gonna reach up. And then exhale, we're gonna switch sides. So the right hand's gonna go behind you holding it behind you. And then the left hand's gonna come around to connect. Again, you can grab the wrist, you can interlace the hands, whatever feels good, right? And then once you have the grip, see if you can sit back up tall. Inhaling, and then exhaling. Taking the left ear towards the left shoulder. Nice. So we're not lifting our shoulder up. We're actually taking the head and letting it be heavy, drawing it over to the left side. Draw the right elbow down to the mat or down towards the ground for more and breathe. Sometimes as you get into this stretch over time, you can notice that if you draw your chin forward or back a little bit, it changes the way that the angle pulls into the head of the shoulders, the scapula, the olecranon. There's a lot of muscle flow happening here because our head needs a lot of support to hold it up as we use it all the time. And sometimes our posture of having that leaning forward to the computer or leaning forward kind of energy our muscles in the front get tight and our muscles in the back need that deep stretch. So if you want, you can even draw the chin forward a little bit, stretching the back side of the neck muscles a little bit more. Take one more breath here. And then gently inhale, come back, arms reach up. Lengthen up, reach up. Exhale, release the hands down to the shoulders or to the legs. Breathe. Nice. From here, we're going to Take the left hand. I know we started a few minutes late, so we got just a few more minutes here. We're gonna work into opening. We're gonna take a twist. And so our left hand is gonna come behind us. And so I'm placing my hand at the low back, right on in the middle, kind of at my, my sacrum, right at the low back. And I'll take this standing just to show you. So your left hand's gonna come behind you and the right hand can either come and press down onto the left knee for support, or you can grab onto your desk if it's in front of you for support, sit up tall, and then exhale, look over your left shoulder back towards the wall behind you, continuing to draw the left elbow back as you press the left hand into the low back, the right hand's on the knee, thigh, and we're just taking a gentle twist. Squeeze the belly in, lift up, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, sit up, exhale, twist, look back. One more time. Nice, slow and gently, we're gonna release arms, inhale up, exhale, switching sides. So right hand to the low back on the spine, fingertips are pointing down, left hand to the outside of the right knee or thigh, it feels good for you, sit up tall, inhale, and then exhale, look back towards the right shoulder. Squeeze the core in the pelvic floor, inhale, sit up tall, exhale, twist, looking back deeper. If it feels good, you can traction. So I'm pulling into my leg with my arm and I'm pushing into my sacrum with my hand. Inhale, sit up, squeeze muscles. Exhale, press, traction. One more breath. Nice, come back to center. Inhale, hands to the thighs, take a deep breath. Nice. From here, slowly stand up into your mountain pose. We, you can either take this from mountain pose standing or you can take this from a seat if you prefer. It's up to your body and to how you feel in your body. Left hand's gonna reach up and then reach your left hand like you're trying to scratch an itch between your shoulders. The right hand's gonna reach up and grab on top of the left elbow and then pull the elbow down, trying to reach down and imagine you're trying to put lotion in between your shoulder blades. Yes, nice. The right hand is pulling down, the left hand is reaching back. Still squeeze your core, find your seat and take three breaths in and out the nose. One more deep breath in. Nice, reach the arms up, take a deep breath, roll the wrists out if it feels good, and then switching sides. The right hand's gonna reach in between the shoulder blades, the left hand's gonna be on the tricep, pulling it down the back, taking a deep breath. Reaching the fingers down, using that opening just for one more breath. Nice, gently release. 
taking just a few moments to roll the shoulders. We're gonna draw the shoulders up and back. And so inhaling up, exhaling down the back. Now do the opposite direction. So inhale up, exhale down, coming forward. Sitting up tall, take a deep breath in. Take your left hand, placing it on the left temporal bone. So like right here above the ear on the side of the head. Nice. And then from here, we're gonna push our hand into our head gently, maybe 20 or 30% of the energy. As you press in, you're gonna notice how you start to almost turn your head. So we're gonna push in and then we're gonna resist. So I'm gonna take my, use my neck muscles and I'm gonna fire my neck muscles up and press my head into the resistance, into that energy, just pressing it down and then coming back up, inhale. And one more time, press with your left hand into your head and just slowly resisting, give yourself that little stretch. Last one, pressing and resisting. Coming back to center, arms up, inhale. Switch sides, right hand on the right side. And I have my thumb pointing down, just kind of cupping over my ear, if that feels good, finding that space where you have a nice even area of surface tension on the head so you're not like pointing and pushing one small specific area, it's a large space. So press the ear down. Uh, towards the right shoulder as you push up with the left hand, resisting that energy, and then inhaling to center. Press the head into the hand, the hand into the head. Find that resistance. Nice, come back one more time. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly come back up, arms rise. Exhale, release them down, take a deep breath. The next thing we're gonna work into is going into some deeper um, forearm work. It's not gonna be a ton, um, but I, I do know that we're coming to the top of the half hour. And so I wanna honor your guys' time. This is going to be recorded. And so if it's something that you can't stay on for and you wanna grab the, uh, the last 15 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, um, that's something that we'll have access to um, digitally. So feel free to stick around if you can. Um, I will just kind of show you and go through them quickly. So sitting tall, taking this beautiful energy and space. We're gonna move into opening up our forearms. So many of us have these tight muscles happening through our forearms from all the texting, typing, and all this stuff. And so from here, we are just going to, again, you can use your desk to set your arm on, or you can just let it rest on your leg, cross your body. Take your uh, left hand or your left arm, place it across so you have your left forearm in front of you. Your right hand is gonna reach down and grab onto it, just like you're holding on. And then the thumb is going to be what we're going to do the work with. And so this is called plucking or kind of like a guitar. I think like a, like a guitar chords that come from your forearm down to your wrist. And what we're going to do is we're going to find those little bands, those little tight bands, and you're just going to slide your thumb over them. It's not a lot of pressure, maybe 20%, 30%. It feels, you know, feel like it's a little bit of like, Ooh, yeah, that's tight. That's uncomfortable, but you're not trying to like, you know, pull the tendons or muscles out, <laughs> just kind of going back and forth across the muscles. And this is a place where you could spend three to five minutes on each arm. And so just as an idea of some things that you can do, kind of working. And I like to work from the top, from the elbow down towards the wrist. You'll notice it's usually really tight right at the crease and around this area. As you kind of work, you'll notice that the skin gets a little red or a little pink because we're increasing circulation. We're really digging into these muscles with a little bit of love from our thumb, kind of plucking back and forth. And the more that you go across them, the cross fiber energy, it helps to break up that tension, stagnation, adhesion, the tightness through there so that it's not as sore after a long day's use. So we'll go through and do that. You can do that again. You could do that for three to five minutes if you wanted to. It's a great daily practice. The next thing that we're going to do, and you want to do both arms, right? So when you have the time, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the left thumb, pressing into the right forearm and just taking a moment. This is just 60 seconds of going back and forth and getting that cross fiber opening across across these bands, these tight guitar strings or bass strings of the forearms. And the more you're texting, typing, <laughs> you really feel this. If you are a repetitive uh, hand use, like manual hand use, like you're doing like a screwdriver or like, you know, when you're doing those weekend hobbies or weekend activities at home for two or three days of intensity, you notice these muscles when you're actively using your hands a lot. And so whether it's digging in the garden or using power tools, uh, this is something that I definitely recommend giving yourself some circulation and some opening for. And so once you've gone through there and you've gone from the elbow down, kind of working that string along each of them, you can kind of take a deep breath, 
let the arms rest for a moment. And then we're gonna move into some extension. And so from here, we're going to take the fingers and pull the fingers back towards you as you press your hand out and away. Nice. And so I recommend doing each finger as a single finger pull. So pulling one finger at a time back towards you. And sometimes you'll get some opening and you can do that a couple of times. And then your whole hand and you're gonna pull your fingers back. Now, if this feels good here as a stretch opening, because we just worked here, we're now stretching and opening the opposite of the extensors. This is great. If you want a little bit more, then we're going to take our hand and your right hand's going to go ahead and just make a circle around the wrist, around your left wrist. Nice. And then from, uh, sorry, from there, you're going to press your hand down and then use your top hand. I'm using my fingers to just resist. So pulling the hands back towards you and pushing down with the hand. And you kind of get some of this energy, this resisting. So my left extended arm, I'm, pu I'm pulling back towards me and my right hand, I'm pushing down in a way to give it some resistance. Nice, and you just do that two or three or four times and then go ahead and grab the hand and pull it towards you, stretching and opening even more deeply into the arms. Nice, so you can kind of play with that. You can also do it from a, a lower angle where you're pulling back and resisting more downward feels good. Kind of just giving yourself that nice opportunity for the long stretch. Again, you want to do both arms so you can switch over to the other side um, and give yourself that option. So one finger at a time, finger pulls. Whoop, snap, crackle, pop. Got a little bit of that there. Nice. And then the whole hand pulling back towards you as you get that extension. And then maybe you're taking this into the resistance. So now I'm gonna be pulling back with my hand, my right arm pulls back towards me, fingers towards my head. And my left hand's gently pressing down, resisting that pull. So I'm trying to pull, extend my hand back towards me and then my top hand's flexing it down. Let's just do one more of those. Again, you can do three to five times, finding the pace that works for you and the amount of time you have. And then take your hands and interlace them and just go ahead and stretch open. Stretching side to side. Could you try again? Oh, I love it when people try to, when technology tries to jump in. So just stretching, interlacing the fingers, reaching out, finding that length. Nice. And then take a minute and just move your fingers. Feel this energy. Beautiful. A moment of a seated cow cat. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and look up as you press your belly forward and then exhale, arch the spine, pull the belly back and in. Let's do three of those. Inhale and exhale. And you can do this in your seated chair. You could also do this over the chair with your hands on the chair, on the seat of the chair, or even on the back with a flatter spine. So arching up and tucking the tailbone and looking up, inhale and exhale. Last one. Nice. Slowly coming back to your seat. Take a moment in your seat. Crown is lifted up, open energy through the spine. Core is gently engaged, hands resting on the thighs. Nice, draw the hands together. Just gently rub the hands together. Come back to that heat, the friction within. And then when you're ready, draw the hands to heart center. They can either place a prayer or one on top of the other. Closing the eyes if you'd like. Taking a few nice slow deep breaths here. Feel the circulation, the movement, the flow happening through your upper body specifically. As you squeeze to the core and the pelvic floor, feel the support of your spine. This beautiful tall posture. As we breathe, we're inhaling to receive, to reset and to restore equanimity. It's a balance of our nervous system. And exhale just to ground and release, letting go. Inhale, receive, reset and restore. And exhale, release and ground. One more time. Receive, reset, restore and exhale. Release, relax, and ground. With your hands at heart center, 
take a moment just to thank yourself for making time, for showing up, for breathing, for moving, and for becoming part of the conversation with your body for health and for ease. As we close today, uh, I will draw my thumbs to my third eye. You're welcome to join me here if you want or keep them at heart center if you'd like. In wrapping up, the divine in me bows to honor the divine in you. Namaste. If you have a moment, jot down how you feel, how you feel in your body, maybe that one to 10 scale coming back to how you feel and that same intensity or same awareness. Um, and just taking a couple of notes, you know, of what shifted, what changed? Was there a posture that felt good or that was easy to access, something that maybe was more challenging to access and giving yourself that little awareness. So when you come back next time and you can access this uh, via recording, then you can kind of have something to build on and see how things change and shift as you continue this repetition of opening and moving in your body. And I highly encourage you to take a few moments to move. Maybe it's walking around, grabbing some water and hydrating. Uh, maybe it's going out getting a couple of breaths of fresh air if you have a moment to, uh, or hitting the restroom. Just get moving, walk around, be in your body, squeezing your core, engaging your muscles, feeling the flow of energy through you before you sit down and engage in the rest of your day and inviting yourself to. Uh, be open to be prepared and confident for productivity and ease all day long.